give it your all, eye on the ball, when all around you is falling apart. Give it your heart, give it your soul, playing the part that is really the whole. Take the rough with the smooth, though the smooth can be rough. Doing what we do, it's tough. And if that's not enough, sometimes it's not. That's when you've got to give it all that you've got. All the above, hold it together, whether you stand or fall. Scene by scene, play it out. That is what life's all about. There's just one way you're gonna make it at all. You gotta give it your all, give it your all, give it your all. <laughs> Good morning, May. I saw the show last night. You were better than ever. So entertaining. Thank you. It was a rerun. Oh, I must have slept through it the first time. It was <laughs> Morning, darling. Morning. Ah. Mom! Emily, I thought we agreed. Your music in your room, kitchen music in the kitchen. Evan, not again with the junk cereal. Didn't I tell you that stuff's gonna rot your brain? Why didn't you tell me that? See, it's starting. <laughs> Merlin, do you mind? Thank you. What is that? Slim Smart. I'm going on a diet. What on earth? Well, there's not an ounce of fat on you. Check out her butt, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, eat something healthy or at least slice a banana into that glop. Evan, you gotta stop putting your socks in with the rest of the laundry. Well, where am I supposed to put them? Well, you could bury them. <laughs> Would someone please tell that dog I live here? <laughs> How was your run? Oh, it's great, honey. Did you hear the odds in the fight, Dad? Yep. Eight to five. Barrier over Cooper. And we are gonna be there, pal. Hey, Dad, the kids in score teased me yesterday. How come, if you were such a great football player, you don't do commercials like Joe Montana? <laughs> <coughs> Did you tell him your father's the genius behind Axel's touchdown turkeys? Come on, Dad. I'm getting teased enough already. <laughs> Kids, time for school. Evan, you're gonna miss your bus. Okay. See you later, Mom. Bye, darling. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. Hey, Evan, I don't want to hear any more of your fat jokes. You're developing a wide load yourself. I know. It's hereditary. <laughs> Remind me again. Why did we decide to have children? <laughs> because your mother wanted us to. Ah. You know, you're very attractive. In a beat-up sort of way. Yeah, and I'm a sucker for a kind word and a warm body. Mm. Can I, uh, make a date with you for this weekend, please? Maybe drive up the coast? Check into a cheap motel. Get arrested for disturbing the peace? Oh. You're on. And they say romance is dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again the star of the Millie Morell Variety Hour, the very glamorous, the very charming Millie Morell. Applause, 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 and cue Millie. Thank you very much. You've been a wonderful audience and love. And I stay on my mark until you release me. Okay, you're released. Oh, thank you. Good run through, Millie. Thank you very much. You know, I screwed up the introduction to the rap group. You'll be fine tomorrow. Could somebody please bring me a nice cup of tea, Joni? Thank you. How did you know? Well, that's what you always want when you screw up. Good run through. Good run through. Good run through. Oh, was it any good, Max? I'm the executive producer. I just heard me say good run through. Scotty. Millie, I don't want you to think I'm a yes man, but yes, you screwed up the intro. Ah, I'm screwing up the intro because I'm having a real problem saying their names. 
why did we have to hire somebody called Cedric and the Sex Slaves? Okay, blame me. As co-executive producer, I insisted we book this group, but I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to share something of major emotional importance to myself. You got Cedric, he's got three girls. The blonde one, the drop-dead blonde one, Alicia. I think I'm going to propose to her. Perfect. He wants to marry a sex slave. Good thing we didn't book the Marquee Chimps. Scotty, you just met her. Millie, they need you for a costume fitting for the final sketch. I'm coming. He's fallen in love again. Of course. You're pathetic. <laughs> Scotty, I'm going to tell you this because I care. How can I say this without sounding filthy? Filthy is good. Sometimes, with your dynamic sexual enthusiasm, you confuse lust with love. Yeah, so what's the problem? <laughs> what? Millie, you think yeah. we could try on that costume now? Felix, I am all yours. Millie, the vice principal from Evans School is here to see you. Here? Miss Bevis. Well, have her come in. Won't you come in? Miss Bevis. Hello. Uh, is everything all right? I mean, nothing's happened to Evan, has it? No, no, he's fine. But it is important enough that I felt I had to speak to you personally. Oh, um, guys, do you mind? Bye. Bye. Right. Love, could we get on with this? If there's anything wrong, I'm not going to have time to fix it. Oh. Miss Bevis, would you mind if I fitted this costume? We could still talk. Uh, would you like a cup of tea or something? Thank you, no. I'll make some anyway. I wanted to call you at home, but your son said you wouldn't be there. So I called the studio and they wouldn't put me through. Oh, I'm so sorry. But what about Evan? Today in the library, Evan got up to leave. He passed one of the students, Margaret Drotsman, near the back of the room and without authorization or permission, felt her breast. He what? <laughs> well, Evan claims it was a jostle, uh, but Mr. Butler, the librarian, says it was definitely a feel. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. I mean, I can't believe that my Evan would do such a thing. Uh, Felix, quick, do you mind? I'll come back later. Thank you. <laughs> believe me, we are so very aware of how much time your career demands. Uh -huh. And personally, I love your show. But we feel that Evans may be trying to tell you something and maybe you're too busy to hear it. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I, I do spend as much time as I... No, I do spend as much time. I, I, I mean, you just have to look at me to know that I'm a caring mother. <laughs> oh, uh... Yes, yes, I do this, but I mean, I'm there for him. I'm home. I was at parents' night. I... I, 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 I was at the science fair. Yes, I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, I just keep saying I'm sorry. You can't know how painful it was for me to tell you about this. Oh, oh, really? But I... as long as I'm here, do you think I could have your autograph? <laughs> sure. Could you hold that? <laughs> you know, I sing, too. <laughs> Why don't you brush your teeth? That dog has breath like a buzzard. Hi. Where's your brother? I have no brother. Oh, I'm glad to see you're eating again. Of course I'm eating. I'm upset. Well, when children are upset, they need a mother, and I just happen to be yours. Did you luck out today or what? Mother, let's just say that I'm dead.
Let's just say Evan killed me. Let's just say I can never show my face at school again. Let's just say it's a very pretty face, and it's really not your problem. Right. I don't like have a problem, because I'm like Mr. Molesto's sister. <laughs> just a shade dramatic, are we? Mother, I think Evan is actually perverted. And not just because of, you know, Margaret Drotsman. And I really don't think you're to blame, or Dad. You're adequate parents. Thank you. Evan is not perverted. And Aww. listen, before we send him to solitary, I'd really like to hear his side of the story. I just told you Evan's side of the story. Now, would you like to hear about me? Well, actually, well, I'd Well, good, love because to... I had a hair appointment at 4 o'clock today. Do you want to know about this? <laughs> Emily. What? Why did you... Was that our daughter? <clears throat> She's done something unspeakable to her hair. And she hates her brother. Yeah, I was upstairs talking to Cool Hand Luke. <laughs> so what's the verdict? Was it a feel or a jostle? More like a dare. Peer pressure. Little boy Frank. Here, taste this, honey. Mm. Mm. More something. You know, maybe Evan's trying to tell me something, and I'm just too busy to hear it. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's so unlike him. Well, sometimes little boys act like little boys. Yeah, but what if he's acting like a little sailor? <laughs> Look, Millie, I understand how you feel. I just talked to him. You talked to him, you'll see. Evan! Evan! Hello? Oh, Marty, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Look, I'll be right over. I'll take care of it. Marilyn's got Marty Kendall's garden hose. I'll be right back. Marilyn! Crack that hose! So, how's it going? Tell me what happened. Okay. I was with Keith Mankwitz and Sean Sorella, and they dared me to do it, and I did it, and I can't believe I'm such a, what do you call it? Dipstick. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a wild assumption here. I'm going to assume that you apologize. Oh, God, yes. I apologized all over the place. I apologized, what do you call it? Profusely? Profusely as anything. <laughs> okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Was it a feel or a jostle? It was sort of a jostling feel. <laughs> okay, show me. What? <laughs> Come on, I'll be Margaret Drotsman. Now, where am I sitting? In, in the back of the library? Mom! Come on, show me! Mom, I can't do this. Why not? I think you've had plenty of practice. <laughs> making me feel so, what do you call it? Humiliated. And I am sure that is exactly how you made Margaret Drotsman feel. Evan, is there something you want to tell me that you don't want to tell me? Like what? Well, like what's going on inside, you know, your feelings, your real feelings. My real feelings? Okay, Mom, I'm afraid. Go on. I'm afraid you're not going to let me go to the fight with Dad. You touch a girl's breast, and this is what is going on emotionally inside of you? I also want to say that I am sorry, and I'll never do it again. I have homework that I want to get back to, but I just want to mention again that I am sorry. I mean it. I am very sorry. Thank you, Evan. So what about the fight? Homework. The damn dog doesn't listen. You know, we're going to have to do something about it. Yeah, a couple of good whacks with a rolled up newspaper. Not the dog, Evan. I, I still don't know why he did it. Honey, I told you it was a prank. 
No punishment? Oh, absolutely. We ground him. All of next week. No, no. Evan knows what his punishment should be. Not going to the fight tomorrow night. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Millie, Millie, this is Evan's first fight. For a father and son, this is a bonding thing. I mean, he's finally at an age where we can share things. I'm not talking about pony rides anymore. I'm talking about real stuff, guy stuff. You know, Berrio and Cooper, a title fight? Honey, you'll break the kid's heart. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am overreacting. Uh -huh. Where's Evan? He's upstairs, but he's doing his homework. Well, here. He said we can make it. It turned out great. Hello, Sean. Hello, Keith. <laughs> My God. They made a trophy out of Evan's hand? Evan! About the fight tomorrow night? No bloody way. <laughs> It's not a dog, it's a great white. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Hi, kiddo. Oh, good. I want to talk to you. Sorry, gotta run. No, 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 no. You're not running, darling. You're gonna sit and talk to me just for one moment. Mother. Come on. Listen, I know you're upset with your brother, but sometimes when we're upset with ourselves, we take it out on someone else. Here, have some oatmeal. I'm upset with myself? Yeah, just because some idiot hairdresser made you look like an absolute geek. Mother, I, I know you hate the way you feel, and I don't blame you. I mean, I'd be miserable, too. But it can be fixed. Mom, I happen to love it. <laughs> what? I spoke to Kathy last night, and I exactly described my hair to her, and she said it's exactly, exactly like Cindy Lauper's graduation picture. <laughs> You know, now that I see it up close, it's cute. It's really cute. You know, and if anyone's taking it out on anyone, Mom, it's you. I think you're being much too harsh on Evan. Yesterday, you were ready to kill him. I know, and yesterday, I didn't like my hair, either. Sweetie? I know, eat something healthy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. You know you're cute when you're livid? Are you gonna wear that tie with that shirt? Absolutely not. It was a test. You got a minute? Barely. I just want you to know I'm in total agreement with you. Not letting Evan go to the fight tonight is a good punishment. Uh -huh. Thank you, Donna. Right, Bill. Uh, the only thing I thought was you might want to consider, instead of the fight, not letting him go to Keith Mankiewicz's bar mitzvah next week which he is really, really looking forward to. And why not? It's going to be the hottest party in town. They're having an actual rodeo in the backyard. No, 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 no. I spoke to Keith's mother Tuesday. It's just going to be a plain, ordinary bar mitzvah because Keith is being punished. Oh? He made his sister eat paste. A lot of paste? How do I know? Well, it was a little paste. There's no reason Sweetie, to cancel on it. Millie, go. Millie, Millie, Millicent! Now, come on, there are a million punishments we can give him besides not letting him go to the fight. Huh? I mean, he didn't commit murder here. By crying out loud? It was just a prank. And why should I have to suffer? I mean, come on, I was really looking forward to going with him. Barrio and Cooper for the middleweight championship of the world. Well, you can... Uh, and don't you tell me I can go by myself. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm sorry. But there'll be other fights. Say goodbye to Evan for me. And I love you. Yeah, well, I love you too. Eat your oatmeal. Now, down. No, no. Be a good one. Oh. What's that? 
This is what's left of the sports section. The yards are now seven to something burial, and we are not going to be there. Yeah, I really screwed it up. Big time, kiddo, big time. You can still go, Dad. You can take someone else. <sighs> Wouldn't be the same. We're in this together. Why did you have to go and blow it? Look, I admit what I did with Margaret Drossman was wrong. This is good oatmeal. <laughs> but come on, all the grown-ups are making this into a teapot, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Margaret says she didn't even mind. She said that? Yeah. I apologized to her after, and she said, forget about it. Are you telling me the truth? She said she didn't even mind. OK, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe if your mother hears this, she'll change her mind, and we can go to the fight, huh? Yes. All right, here's what you do. You invite this Margaret Drotsman to Mom's show tonight. How well do you know her? Well, after yesterday, I'd say a lot better than I used to. <laughs> what did I say? What? What? Come on, Max, is it asking so much? When Millie introduces Cedric and the Sex Slaves, she says Cedric and the Sex Slaves featuring Alicia Stepauer. <laughs> no. Not a chance. Well, that does it. Now she'll never marry me. 15 minutes, Miss Morrell. Who's that? Former running back with bad knees. Hello. Hi, hey, Mom. Hey, guys. Hi, sweetie. Where's Emily? Out front. How's my godson? I hear you're the big hand on campus. Thanks a lot, Mom. Why don't you uh, see if your friend's here? Oh, poor kid. You know, something like that happened to me once. I was playing pin the tail on the donkey, and Lisa Donovan blindfolded me, and every time she spun me around, I... Ooh. <laughs> of course, she was 38 and I was 43, eh? <laughs> You guys, and you wonder why his friends are immortalizing my son's hand? Women are not playthings. Oh, wait a second. Time out, time out. What? The park in London you lived near when you were a kid. Hampstead, why? Mm hmm. And uh, the little boy who was in love with you, the, you know, the one with the funny name? Archibald Rebley. <laughs> what about Archibald Rebley? You were 12, he was 10 or 11, you got him down on the ground. And what did you make him say? Oh, I really don't think oh, that is Come on, Millie, what did you make him say? I made him say, I am your love crumpet. <laughs> Men are not playful. No, it's not the same oh, thing. Oh, what's the difference? Well, for one thing, I didn't jostle his. Dad, <laughs> Marta Trotsman's here. What is Margaret Drotsman yeah. doing here? Honey, she has something she'd like to say to you. Let's... Is, 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 is this... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? That was no prank, and you're no little boy. Evan, I am very ashamed of you. <laughs> hello, Margaret. I'm Evan's mum. I know. Hello. Excuse me for asking, but how old are you? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Well, I, I gotta go. Thank you for the tickets. I brought a girlfriend with me. Oh, I'm glad. It's been nice meeting you, Miss Trotsman. You're going to be a big star. I can't do anything. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Evan just wanted me to mention to you that I really didn't mind about what he did. Well, you should have. Excuse me for saying this, Evan. He's only 12, you know. She's right. <laughs> a young 12. And he kind of just bumped me. I mean, it wasn't even really a real, you know. Well, you've got to be careful with those bumps. I mean that bumping. <laughs> I will. 
I want to thank you for coming, Margaret. It was a really nice thing to do. That's what my mother said. Oh, why don't you try to find Emily? I think she's sitting in the third row. Well, you heard her. It was nothing. I'm a little boy. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Tinkerbell. Listen, kiddo, you are 12 going on dirty old man. Now go out and watch the show. Not near her. And for the next 80 years, act like a gentleman. Oh, my God. Our boy has become the worst conceivable thing two parents can have. A functioning adolescent with raging hormones. We're dead. I know. What are we going to do? Well, I know what I'd like to do. Why don't you, after the show, not change? Mm. Don't take off your makeup. We fly out of here, get in the car. Oh, God. And with any luck at all, we can catch the last couple of rounds of the fight. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Watch it now. What? Really? Watch my knees. Watch my knees. Say oh, it. No, no. Go on, make say me, it. Make me, make it. Me. Oh, I will. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Okay. I'm your love crumpet. <laughs> and don't you forget it. <laughs>